<clears throat> Hello everyone, the Pokemon Fan993 here, back with more Pokemon Chase G Online. Today we're going to be trying uh, another deck, and this deck I actually have used, like, it's probably the most used deck I've used in theme, um, theme challenge versus here, but uh, I actually haven't used it in any of these things, but it's an amazing deck, I usually almost have no problems with it, and that's because a lot of people like to use, let's see if I can find it. Do I even have it? Ah, yes, this one here. Which, if you play the theme online, you know exactly what this deck is. This is the deck that has the, uh, Oakley Charizard in it. That you have Leon, you can do 100 damage for 2 Fire Energy, plus you do extra 50 damage for each Leon card in your discard pile, which this deck actually has, I believe that's 4 of. Let me have a look. 2. So that means you can do a potential of 200 damage using a couple of things, which makes a deck overpowered. However, a water deck, like a Tillion theme deck, which I found the best one to counter it, I could use that a lot, and people just run right into it. And they'll either surrender, or they will actually just be like, oh, okay, okay, I'm just going to take the beating and not do anything about it. <clears throat> so back, aside from that fact, we're going to try to see who we're going to face today. So we hit generate for my number, my number generator, and we get number six. So it's after Grayson. So we're facing Juji with the Italian theme deck. All right. So I'm going to show you one of the reasons I really like this deck. It's because of, um, first of all, one Pokemon in this, in this um, no, two Pokemon in this uh, deck can actually help you grab cards. And the others will actually, like, oh, I even got one. So right here we have Cromont. Is that you let them do 20 points of damage to a Pokemon, doesn't matter which Pokemon can be on the bench. Two water energy for the damage, that's pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna actually put Cromont first up here. Come on. The game runs a little laggy when I do it this way, but. And another thing this deck has is the Poke Kid, which if you use it before means you can basically tech any Pokemon from your deck and put it into your hand. Which means I can either find the pre-evolution for Dreadnought or the uh, evolution for Krabby and use it as soon as uh, on my second turn. So we're actually going to take a Water Energy, we're going to put it on Cromont. Because the first turn I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything, so I hit end turn. Which is also why, why I like to act second in this game, because you're actually able to do it pretty quick. Because he's going to put a Muscle Band on that, which means he's going to do 20 more damage. Search your deck for a Fighting Pokemon, reveal it. And an Item Card, put it in your hand to shuffle your deck, okay. So it doesn't matter if they're gold, silver, or city, platinum, whatever it is, but they seem to uh, seem to have a lot of problems. So he just did 30 damage because of the mu because of the muscle band, which isn't a big deal. So we're gonna use the Pokey Kid. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. I'm actually gonna pull. This is the other one I was telling you about. I didn't want to actually show. I didn't want to choose that one. Let me actually. Anyway, the water turn lets me two two energy cards from my deck and put them in my hand. The other one, two will think for six damage, I think is pretty high. So we're gonna grab Shootol. Put it, have him put the put in my hand instead. Okay. So we'll put Shootol on the bench here. We're gonna use uh, Poke Gear to see if we can find a support card. No support cards, oh well. Then we're gonna put a Water Energy on Tootol. We're going to go for the Water Arrow for Chroma, which is going to do 20 damage to one of the Pokemon, which makes you going to choose his active Pokemon. So he's going to knock me out in a few turns, but I might be able to knock him out before he knocks me out. It's hard to say. Okay, so use the potion, so maybe I'm not going to knock him out. However, the smart thing is going to flop, flop again. What does Lunge do? Because the Tails attack does nothing. Okay. So now I'm going to put a. Um, I'm going to evolve Chutal to Dreadnought. I'm going to put another Water Energy on Dreadnought. I'm going to use Hop to draw three cards. Now I actually have a unique thing I could do here. So what I'm going to do is... You know, I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to go for Water Arrow. I'm actually going to target his other Pokemon. They're on the bench. Oh, if you're not going to Pokemon in the bench... 
they still get knocked out and you still take a prize card. That saved me enough of time. So we go to the CEO of the Pokemon Center, which heals 60 damage and one stats condition. Yeah, he didn't attack. I don't know why he did that. Didn't do that. So, um... Hmm. I wonder why he didn't attack. Oh well. So I'm just going to put another energy on Cromot instead. I was going to do something else, but he didn't attack. And then I'm going to be able to use Water Gun here, which is going to do almost all its health. So yeah, I mean he didn't attack, and I'm not understanding why he didn't, do, why she didn't do that. He was not very damage, so it doesn't matter though, because I'm going to knock it next turn anyway. And if he does use, he's not attacking now. She's not attacking now. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So I'm going to explain why I'm putting energy on Grandma because of his attacks. A second stage will come on Vice Bite, 60 plus. That does 30 more damage for each starting opponent's retreat cost. So that means it'd be 60 plus for this one, it'd actually just be, no, for this would be 90. So the stronger the Pokemon is, the more damage it does. And then the other one is Jaw Lock, which it does 130. If it doesn't knock the Pokemon out, you can't use, the, use you can't retreat, their, the Pokemon, uh, supposedly Pokemon can't retreat during the next turn. So we're gonna put, we're gonna, gonna leave this Pokemon in our hand and we're gonna go for Water Gun. Yeah, uh, uh, AI, they seem to always focus on putting energy on the active Pokemon. Until it's full on the energy it needs, so we pull another Antillion, that's not gonna be too bad. Now I'm gonna show you my second reason I like this deck. It's more like the Dreadnought Antillion, but he goes for the Chop, which does no damage, almost no damage. I might be able to show it off this time, but his Antillion's a third, a third stage Pokemon. Silent Shot, discard a random card in your opponent's hand, which, if you're not drawing cards, because you can hold the limit cards, if you use Silent Shot enough, they're going to run out cards in their hand to play. And Hydro Snipe, it does 100 damage if the Pokemon, even if it's not that, I can return one water energy to, the, or one basic energy to their hand. No, just regular energy. So that means that, until Leon, with 160 HP, most Pokemon would take at least two or three turns to knock it out. Maybe except EX and GX bonds. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm actually going to end this on a high note. I'm going to actually go for the retreat. I'm going to subtract one energy. I'm going to out Dreadnought and just end it right now. Because he has two retreat costs, means his attack is going to do 120 damage. That's what I wanted. I showed off the stack and why I like it. Um, the other one, yeah, was just easy because we're on the money right now. I want to show off the deck. This is probably my most... My, favorite deck to use in the themes. Okay, so next time I actually have not used this yet. It's, um, <clears throat> it's the, uh, what's it? where's that at? It's the, uh, the retort deck. I bought this with 600, 500 coins. And I normally bought it because I saw Lucario in there, which So basically what this allows us to do is, this is an older deck, so that you're going to see in a couple of discrepancies, but... So I have to remember what a Lost Zone is. I think Lost Zone is the graveyard. I don't think they call it a graveyard in this game. But es essentially, the deck looks really good. Um, has a uh, round on it, has Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee, and then it has some uh, Pidgey, two, two of the Pidgey line, and it has a bunch of high overpowered trainer cards and everything. So we're going to explore that deck next. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching. This is the Pokemon Fan 93 signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.